What's going on you guys? It's your boy G.I. Joe. It's Monday, baby. So that's chest day. You know what that means. It's games day. Uh, it's Monday on my way to the gym right now. Uh, today I'm catching a session with my boy Judd. Uh, Judd hit me up uh, a few days ago about uh, trying to train. So I said, let's get it. Let's go. So um, he's there right now running behind. My bad, bro. I'm not good with... <laughs> I'm not good with being on time, but yeah, and I'm, I'm about to be there uh, a few lights away, and yeah, we're about to smash some chest, probably about to throw some biceps in there too, every day's arm day. Yo, today is day one of prep, I am currently 13 weeks out, um, my next show date is June 17th in Riverside, uh, the organization hosting that show it's supposed to be a pretty dope big show um npc west coast i'm very excited about it because i was supposed to do it last year and yeah i went into bulk season right after my last show completely forgetting about this show that i'm gonna do in june so yeah i can't wait yeah i just got here what's going on this is my boy judd special guest knocking it out with me yeah first thing First thing I do, I always try to kill or get out the way is cardio. I usually like to do most of it in the beginning and I'll save like 10 minutes, 15 minutes for the end. Knocking out 30 minutes, it's gonna be 30 minutes this whole week. About to do half right now with Judd. He's not used to this cardio, so <laughs> I'm not gonna make him do it all. We're just gonna do half and then get right into it. Let's get it. It's time to warm up. Always start off with a warm up, loosen up, get the blood flow going. off our workout with some cardio how you feeling bro yeah. good, man. how to lose your stomach your gut my boy asked me this question before he walked in here a few things i can say one water our bodies naturally carry a lot of water weight so i always tell people drink about like a gallon a day cardio what we're doing right now this is major this is like i mean with your dieting and lifting so weights gotta do it, yeah you gotta do it but this is like a big Another big important key to lose the stomach, to lose your gut, whatever it is, dieting, clean dieting, eating a lot of veggies, making sure you're getting rid of all the bad stuff in your body. Killed it, finished off with 15 minutes of cardio at the end, well like 16, 17 minutes. And now it's time to go home and eat, man. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I think I gotta go to the store, bro. What are you, what are you about to eat? No man, maybe some Waba. Some Waba grill. Sounds real good right now, man. But yeah, no, so my boy right here, Judd, is gonna be working out with me for the rest of this whole week. He wanted to see what it's like and how I train. Yo, I had to go to the store real quick. I mean, this bugs you guys too. When you go to the store and you're trying to be in and out, but you got these people with all these damn scratchers and lotto tickets scanning away, thinking they're about to win a million dollars. And you know, damn well, they're not about to win one dollar. And if the most you're gonna win, the amount of money you spent on all those lottos or scratchers to purchase more lottos and scratchers, and then you're gonna get left with nothing. I think that bugs me. I don't know if it bugs you guys, but yeah, I'm on my way home now. Uh, I got a surprise for you guys. Got a new, a new addition to the fam. So last week, I went and got myself a puppy. Say hi. Say hi. He's pretty hyper right now. He's excited to see me. So, his name is Bronx. He's only uh, nine weeks. He just turned nine weeks. What's going on? Just got out the shower. Just want to give a quick little shout out to Inkwell. I'm actually wearing one of their shirts right now. Um, it's a long sleeve. They recently 
hooked me up with a care package. They hooked me up with some scoop tees, a couple white ones, a blue one, and a, like a charcoal gray. And then this is also what they hooked me up with. It's like a varsity jacket. The material is really good uh, on the back. It says permanence, pretty dope. Some dad hats, Inkwell brand. And then this is the white one. Goes with the varsity jacket, it's pretty dope. Inkwell on the side, uh, rose. I'll show you guys another one. This one too, I got this. They also hooked me up with this dope snapback. It's pretty dope. Yeah, shout out to everyone at Inkwell brand and shout out to Mike. Let me get some lighting here, sorry. Hold on. Bow. So yeah, shout out to everyone at Inkwell brand. Appreciate the care package and I appreciate the support. Um, What time is it? It's, it's 10. I gotta go to the store to get some uh, wet dog food for Bronx. And I think I'm gonna go to Walmart because PetSmart is closed and uh, I don't um, Yeah, I don't know where else to go to get the dog food, but I know Walmart most likely should have it And also since I'm going there I actually need some more meat. Uh, so I'm probably gonna get some chicken breast And ground turkey for sure. Found it Got him um Looking for Purina because that's the type of hard dog food that he eats, so it has to be pretty much the same thing. I hope they have. I see some Purinas, but I'm not sure if it'll. It's the same as what I purchased at PetSmart. We'll see him ask someone. <laughs> at the best part, Gaines Isle. Gotta get some ground turkey for sure. So I usually go to Stater Brothers. I actually prefer to go to Seattle Brothers, but they had the dog food here, so might as well get my stuff here. Um, last time I came here, I got this seasoned chicken, already come seasoned, it was really good. Sometimes just eating what I make over and over again is really boring, so sometimes I'll buy something like this just to switch it up a little bit. Came to stop by the supplement spot, check it out, they got BPI, one MR Vortex, Shout out to my sponsor, BPI, it's pretty dope. Would not expect Walmart to carry BPI, but hey, we out here. So I'm not too big on whatever fits your macros. I'm more on straight to it, but to some occasions in the beginning of prep, uh, cause you're not supposed to just, you know, drop all your carbs and just go into a strict diet. You're supposed to slowly break your body into it. So, I mean, I'm pretty much on a diet, like solid ass diet, but this is something that I will incorporate on like a high a high carb day, uh, which is Wednesday. And I'll eat that with my breakfast just because sometimes it's hard to get a lot of carbs in, especially if your numbers are like 400, 500 carbs, depending on the day. Uh, that's usually a hot day. But yeah, that's like a good way to get your carbs in right there, low, low on fat. Um, so yes, uh, to a certain extent, and once I get closer to prep, maybe within 10 weeks, that's when it's really tightened up and I'm just cutting it all. size this bulk season I'm all natty keep that in mind so for me to put on solid muscle is a little harder but it's definitely possible and that's what I did and I definitely I'm coming into this prep more developed that's what my physique's looking like I'm not holding nothing back I'm not hiding it I'm putting it all out there um, so yeah I'm about to eat these meals can't wait to really start cutting down it's a process it's a fitness journey let's get it what's going on you guys so talk about this prep um, this is gonna be my third show I decided to do the June 17 one as my first show somewhat like a warm-up but not really a warm-up um, it's gonna be my first show because I wanted to do it last year but um, I kind of forgot about it because after my last 
show uh, last year in July. Uh, I was just kind of disappointed in how things went and kind of in myself. So I just went into a bulk and I just wanted to go uh, put on more solid uh, muscle size pretty much. Um, not only that, I wanted to work on my back. I feel like my back was really, you know, not as developed as it should have been, especially trying to compete to qualify nationally. This off season, I did put in work on my back, so can't wait. I'm wider, I'm more developed. Didn't focus in one area, I focused on everything. Any muscle group on your back, I hit, and I hit it good. I worked out smarter and better. Why? Because you want to prevent injuries. Uh, when I say smarter and better, I just focus more on contraction, focused on form, and just really made sure I can get the best out of each work. Things I'm gonna make sure and focus more on this prep is just uh, my health, making sure I'm healthy throughout prep. Um, second, your meals, your diet, like that's key. Um, third, cardio in the gym. I wait to see what I'm gonna look like. I can't wait to step to step on stage again. Uh, it's, it's been a while, but it takes time. I mean, that's one thing people have to understand. And you know, I'm on Natty, so like. It's gonna take time and I'm, I'm, I understand that. And as long as you put the work in and you eat and you, you take your supplements and you just, you know, get your rest and do do what you have to do, you're gonna develop, you're gonna put on size. Um, the most important thing is just staying consistent. If you can sit, stay uh, consistent, you're gonna win. If you put the work in, you're gonna get the results out of it and you're gonna get what you want. And, you know, sometimes it's not gonna work out like that, but you, you gotta keep working, you know, so. Um, that's why I can't wait. I can't wait to win some more trophies and uh, I want to win the sword. I want to win a couple swords. I want to qualify this year. Um, I can't wait and then yeah, you know, 2018 get ready to compete for my pro card and I think by that time I, I feel like I'll be well developed and you know, at my full potential by that time and just be a beast and win that pro card and be a pro. IFBB Pro one day. That's the goal, to be honest. Um, as far as competing, and not only that, I want to. I want to do other stuff. I really do. But uh, I'm right now. I'm just focused on, on one thing, um, and just making sure that I'm handling this before I can get to this. You know what I mean? Um, but one thing for sure is uh, I'm grateful for my sponsors, BPI. Um, I, I'm really happy I was able to land this sponsorship with them. To be honest. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty dope because I can use this and as a platform. Shout out to Inkwell for the support. This is their dad hat. They always been supporting me and I appreciate that. I'm just trying to really do a lot. Um, I always try to stay busy and, you know, vlogging something I enjoy doing. And I just ordered a mic, the Rode mic. I can't wait to get that. Thought it would have been out, been in already, but nope. Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> I keep checking the door. Need to relax. Can't wait to show you guys my journey and show you what I go through and how I do things. Um, and also to show you that it's possible. I mean, one thing for sure that I want to speak about, some people think it's easy. It's not easy to compete. I mean, I'll be the first to tell you and you know, it's really not, but I'm not saying it's not possible. It's definitely possible because I'm doing it. and. I took it as a challenge, just trying to kill it. <laughs> I can't wait, I'm really excited. Uh, put a lot of work in, I can't wait to show it. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Peace out, peace. Say bye. He's tired. <laughs> Say bye. Later, you guys. <laughs>